Oh, hello. I just fucking hit myself in the eye. Hey. Hello. It's a girl day, Lexin. Welcome to my chat. No. Oh. Today I will be doing a wine on a dime. This is for my people who like wine. You're not trying to spend all that money and you don't really know what wines to get, okay? I will be heading into those stores, grabbing those wines and trying them out for you. Some will be good and some of them will be bad, but you never know until you try. And we're going to go ahead and head into Kroger's. But before we go in, do not forget to subscribe. If you like the video, like the video and turn on those post notifications so you can be in tune with me and you won't miss a beat. So I am in Kroger's right now and the wine that I am looking for is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Again, this is the wine that I had at the wine That's bar the and it was maybe 45 or 50 dollars. It was something overpriced because I found it definitely half of that. I believe at H B it was $13. But again, that was at H-E-B. I'm in Kroger's now, so we will see. And the name of this wine is here, Freak Show. I always remember this wine by the cover. It is something that you will not miss. And when I first saw it, I was kind of iffy on trying it, but I'm glad that I did taste it because again, it was very good. And now I just need some cereal because I have almond milk that I'm supposed to be using for smoothies. And I tried making a smoothie and it did not turn out good. So I'm gonna just use the milk for something else. Even though, excuse me. Even though I'm not a big um, cereal person. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not a cereal person because I'm lactose intolerant and I be drinking whole milk and I be farting. But I'm gonna try almond milk or coconut milk or something. If you travel a lot, mm -hmm. I do vlogs for like YouTube and stuff like that. So I just use it to record everything oh, or a cool. party if you want to just get a better view of everything. Yeah, yeah it's good. <laughs> He just came and grabbed this cinnamon brown sugar crunch protein. Huh. I was gonna ask him what cereal he get, but he came straight to that, so he must be working out. I'll be wanting to try cereals. You know what? Comment below. What cereals do y'all love? <laughs> y'all comment with the best cereals to eat. Because I'm very Security indecisive in and I'm trying e. not to be basic. Check in e, yeah, I'm trying not to be basic because I get the same cereal every time. But I'm going to be basic and get it. I usually get this one, but I don't. I want a bigger box. Oh, of course. I feel like it was right here. Forget it. We're gonna have to do the small box. So I do not see it. And then... Okay, and I usually re-up on my wine every two weeks. I get fresh flowers every two weeks. Um, I like walking into a clean room with flowers and you sip on your wine and everything is fresh, smelling good, light a candle and all of that. And my favorite flower is carnations just because they last long and they're pretty. So I think I'm gonna just go with those. These are really nice too. 
but they're kind of short stem. The vases that I use are like too tall for that. So I'm gonna have to get the carnations and call it a day. That would be cute. My cereal and my wine. And I am ready to go. $7. Place item in bag or cart, then scan next item. Okay. $7. Place item in bag or cart, then scan next item. ID check required. Help is on the way. Thanks. Your total is 38 If you have coupons, press coupon. Remember to take your receipt and your change. Okay, so I spent $38.02 and that's good because my budget was $40. So that all worked out. The cereal was something extra. Again, I have that almond milk that hopefully does not make me gas because I don't got time for all of that. The wine was $17.99. That's not too bad, okay? But for their pricing, that's definitely a, a steal. And the flowers, each one was $7 to $14. So that's why I came out to that much. But again, that's not bad. And we just gonna set this up and I'm gonna go ahead and retry because I haven't had it in a good minute, but I'm gonna retry this one. Let y'all know we're gonna have a little story time. It's gonna be cute and lit. So let's get into it. I shall see y'all at the house. I made it back home and we about to go ahead and get straight into this okay well I ain't gonna play no games with it I got on my shirt I got my glass I got my wine and we're gonna go ahead and open this okay so I had to take the tip of it and usually the wine bottles have like a little hole in there let me move this because I will break it so I like sort of just cut around the edge to get like the circular piece leaving it to look like that okay now that is not the professional way of opening wine usually people make like a slit and then they pull this up so professionally i don't have time for all that all right i gotta get straight into my wine we gotta get straight drinking straight drinking so i always take the wine opener sit it right there on top i grab it around the base just like this and i'm holding it down and then i just begin screwing turning it then boom and then this is when i just start wiggling that bad boy <laughs> i'm 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. All right. And uh, oh uh, yeah, nah. This ain't ah. Uh, uh, alrighty. Alrighty. Okay. And uh, you just wiggle it. <laughs> you just wiggle it. You just wiggle it. You don't. You don't want to like ah 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 and yank it. You don't want to do that because like the you don't. It can start tearing, okay? As you as you may or may not see right there, like it is, it's going bad in my mind. I picture me. Ah, do, 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 ah, ah, we gonna see? So you just wanna wiggle. You just wanna wiggle. Oh, it is tearing. You just wanna okay? Don't don't ever stress. Oh, it's not. It's not coming out. Okay, so at. Oh, I can't turn that way. Ooh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. And you keep on wiggling. You never give up. You never give up on wiggle. And keep Ooh. Ah. You don't stress. You do not stress. Slow and steady again wins the race. But, um, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just keep on wiggling. Okay. I'm gonna go rinse this off, okay? Okay. Dang, this is going bad. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. And uh went ahead and rinse it off in my restroom right there. And um yeah, it came out. It's good. Yeah, it did. I just like to double up. Um, I always just like to go back in, even if there's cork or no cork. And, and, and remember, never stress because it, it will always work out. You know, and uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Didn't notice you there. <laughs> this is a freak show, Cabernet. Red wine, of course. It has a 14.5 alcohol percentage. It will get you a little it, okay? I've had this wine before in the past with some pizza. It was good. So I, I went ahead and had to cop it. I spent $40, though, at a little bar lounge. Not no more. Got this one from Kroger's. 17 plus dollars. It was beneath that $20 limit, okay? Because this is on a budget, wine on a dime. Like, come on, it doesn't get no better. But I remember it being good. I had it with some pizza. I remember it, it, it get me lit, but I need to try it again. You know, I just need to try it again. I need to go ahead and jog my memory. I need to see what's up, you know? Dark. Fruit. Okay. It is strong. I do smell the alcohol. I smell. I smell. Okay. I smell. But let's go ahead and give it a taste because that's what I do best. So I'm going to go ahead and pour. Ooh, you see that? You see that color? Oh, that might be a lot. Is that a lot? I'm, I'm going to finish with it. Okay. This is how you uh you just let it swirl around. You just let it swirl around. Uh, You let it swirl around to, uh, just to mix the, uh, to mix it. So anyway. So I'm done. I'm done with that, okay? So now let me take a whiff of the, yeah. Ouch, I hit my freak. Just freaking hit myself in the eye. <sighs> okay. Y'all, like, y'all, y'all, don't. When y'all do this, just, just be in 
in a vibe. Let me let me be in a vibe. Let me be in a because I'm beating myself up because this is going bad. Okay. It's very dark, like an oak. Mug strong. This mug strong. You strong. You strong. I'm getting like a sweet vibe from it. Not too much sweet though. Let me not confuse y'all. It smells kind of, it smells dry, dark, cherry. Yeah. Yeah. We're going we to just jump. We're we just going to taste. We're going to taste it and see. Because, you know, my, we're going to see. I ain't taste it. It tastes full. It is dry, but it has a really smooth finish. Again, for it to be an alcohol percentage of 14.5, the alcohol is there, but it's not like overpowering if that makes any sense i like my wines dry so i'm kind of like let me see again let me see i'm tasting definitely like dry like i'm tasting dark berries black cherries cherries uh rat Definitely would pair well with a burger or some pizza. I personally like dry wines and mostly red. If I do drink a white, it's a Chardonnay. I do like my wines to be high in alcohol because then I know it sort of has like that bitter dry taste to it. But this one, yeah, I kind of want to go get a burger right now. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <sighs> it's a good wine. It is a good wine. Um... Depending on the wine drinker that you are, if you like the sweet, the subtle, where you don't really taste the alcohol, you really don't know that you're drinking wine, maybe go with something less than. So anyway, I do like this wine. Again, it is dry. It is dark. It is loaded with dark fruit. Slightly smoky. It's full. Goes down smooth. Um... I rate it like a, I rate it a high B, honestly. I would rate it an 86 on the wine scaling. As you can see from what I've drank already, look, a few more sips and I'm not even really filling it up, but imagine if I was filling it up to the name. Imagine if I was filling it up, like I would be kind of halfway already. So y'all already see where it's going, but definitely have some type of food with you because that alcohol percentage will get to you. So don't be out here down the bag, man. I warned you. So anyway, y'all, that's that. But I'm going to go ahead and just share a little story time. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened to me. Okay, so. That's me looking for me and y'all looking for me too, cause I don't know. Ah, ah. And they're slapping back at me, they're coming back at me, and I fight.